Welcome back. And um, we're talking about classes and we're working on this challenge number four right here. And the idea was to use the customer object um, in place of the name when creating an order. So let's give that a try. So how did you do on the solution? Um, I'll go through my solution. And again, there's probably a, um, a few different ways to handle this. Um, so here I have the name object here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove that and replace it with a customer, right? And um, this is lowercase customer because it's the name of a variable. And then I'll use uppercase customer for the class. This is going to create some errors because I just took out a variable that, you know, was being used here. So name is, is, um, is missing now, right? So let's get rid of that and um, replace it with customer.name. Well, actually, wait, customer. The customers have a first name. So let's put the first name here. Okay. Now I'm going to have another trouble here because this um, order object need, you know, it no longer has a name property that you pass in and it'll have to have a, have a customer. Let's comment that out for the moment and let's create a customer here. So I'm inside the um, create order function. So create order is going to do the work of putting together these objects and then returning a new order. So it puts together a drink object and let's make a customer object, right? And again, I can use this variable name here because it's inside this function and customer up above inside the class is a separate variable that just lives inside this class instance, right? So let's say customer is going to be a new customer. And um, oh wait, let's get let's let the, the code hints help us out here. So it'll have to have a first name and a last name string, right? So we have name here. Right, so maybe I can put name in here for first name. And then later down below, I'll have to include a last name. So um, so this create order function is going to have to expand to include a last name. Well, let's come and pick that up later. So let's get this part working here. We'll just leave last name empty for now. And next, we're going to create a new order. So let me just rewrite this order right here. And you can see that order requires a customer, uh, the drink, and yeah, I guess that's it, right? So here we can put in customer, right? That's going to be lowercase c because it's going to be the variable here. And then um, boba is actually, I made a variable here called drink. So that goes in for boba, OK? Hmm. So that's looking pretty good. Maybe I'll add a little space here, right? expand this right so that's looking pretty good so we call the create order function we pass in some information create or create order creates a drink object a or a boba tea object a customer object and a new order object and the new order object requires a customer and a drink right and then we'll return that new order so uh, let's say we want to add the last name here. So I've got name here. Let's change that to first name, right? And then this will be first name here. And then let's add another, um, another property for last name, right? So we'll put in um, last name will be a string. And... Uh, let me open that up, right? This line got really long right there, right? So now we've got last name and first name. And then I can take the uh, the last name here and I can use it as the last name property when I create my customer, right? So now I'll have a problem down here because the the signature for calling create order is, is different now, right? It has first name in place here and it also includes last name. Why don't we uh, comment this one out and let... Uh, Let's rewrite it. So I'll say Andy order is going to be create um, order. And then it requires a T type for me will be Jasmine. Sweetness level was 25% for 
first name is Andy. Last name is, um, I don't know, Jones. And has boba is false. Okay. And then we'll need to do the same thing here. I kind of like to rewrite it this way. Um, it's easier than trying to fix it sometimes, you know. So I'll just leave that one there as a reference. And then I can say um, Bob order equals create order. And then, you know, the, the code hints just fill in all the names for me, right? So we'll say string for T type is oolong, sweetness is 50%, name is Bob, last name is um, Smith, and um, has boba is true on this one. Okay, awesome. There we go. Um, Let's see here. What else do we do? Oh, yeah. And uh, yeah, I guess that's everything. So how did you do on that? Um, let me know um, if you have any questions or problems with this. But that's the solution to that last problem. So thanks for watching.